Hey friends, welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie and you have found our channel where we honor our home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. We hope that you'll join the community and subscribe to our channel and share our videos with friends you think share the same values as we do. I'm enjoying a hot cup of coffee in my Heritage Ways mug right now in front of our little tree this year. It's so sweetly decorated by the children. I love their decorations. Do y'all remember making the um, construction paper garland? We enjoy that and we'll be stringing popcorn and cranberries pretty soon. It's the time of year that many of us are preparing to celebrate the holidays, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or any other holiday that you might celebrate. It's a time of year that family and friends get together probably more than other times of the year. And it's the time of year that hostesses like myself are trying to plan ahead so everything is not made at the last minute as far as our menu goes. One dessert, one pie, that must be on in your repertoire, in your list of things that you make all the time during the holidays, is a pie I'm gonna tell you about. It's so simple to put together. It's one of those pies that after it cools, when you cut it, um, it, it just stays, it keeps its shape. It doesn't run at all. It's a very dense, firm pie. It's one that you can use if you have to take a pie to a dinner, uh, like a church dinner or a community dinner or a fire hall, volunteer fire hall dinner like we've had to do, things like that where they're going to go ahead and cut the pieces and put them on the plates. This is perfect for that. It's also so perfect for freezing. I mean, it is my number one pie recipe for the freezer because you can put it Double in there bagged it, and you can pull it out of the freezer at room temperature, let it thaw, and you would never know that it had been frozen. At once upon a time, I owned my own catering business and this was my number one requested pie for Katie's catering. So that should tell you something. I stayed very busy uh, cooking for all sorts of people and events, especially in the spring during weddings and brides uh, luncheons and things like that and then at Christmas time I stayed super busy so I want to share this recipe with you it's traditional it's part of American heritage specifically from Kentucky and it is Kentucky Derby pie I hope you enjoy three-fourths cup of chopped pecans. Now, I am using organic pecans. Um, they were just as the same price as non-organic in the grocery store. I am using organic semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, I'm using pasture-raised eggs. I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour. I'm using homemade vanilla. So I'm trying to have high-quality ingredients. Um, I don't have the highest quality butter today. I do like to buy certain brands, but today I have just your unsalted um, grocery store brand. I do use unsalted. That's kind of a secret with um, a lot of cooks that that way they can control their own the salt in the dishes, which I should get a dash and we'll add a dash of salt to this pie. All right, first thing, we've got our three-fourths cup of chopped pecans. We need six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use dark, I'm just going to say chocolate chips. You can use semi-sweet, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is going to have not so um, uh, sweet of a pie. It's still going to be rich because I love that dark chocolate flavor. And, of course, it's healthy. Um, but it's not going to be as sweet because it doesn't have as much sugar as a semi-sweet and I'm going to estimate because it says six ounces is the original recipe. And this is a 10-ounce bag. Okay. Now, I'm putting them in the bowl together. And I've got a half cup. I've already measured it and put it in my little uh, cup here. A half cup of um, all-purpose flour. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of that flour and put it in with my chips and my pecans and kind of coat it. This helps to kind of keep the nuts and the pecans suspended so that they um, won't all fall to the bottom of the pie. 
This is a good tip for cakes, pies, breads, muffins. Okay, so I've got the um, remaining half a cup. I've got one cup of sugar. And um, let's go ahead and put, let me get my, um, let me get my eggs in here. My two farm fresh eggs. You know, really, I was hesitating because there's not a um, right or wrong order to assemble this pie. You could mix the butter and sugar together first or, or do it however I'm doing it. There's not a right or wrong way on this particular pie. But I'm just going to whisk these eggs. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the one cup of sugar, which I use the pure cane sugar, organic. You don't even have to have a mixer. Just this whisk builds up those muscles. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple dashes of salt since my butter is unsalted. The salt kind of enhances or brings out or balances the sweetness of the sugar. Now I've already melted a butter, a stick of butter. So here it is. We're going to add it. You wouldn't add the butter right to the eggs because it'll. You know, then you'll have a mess. You'll have scrambled eggs. All right. Then I'm going to add my flour. Go ahead and add my teaspoon of homemade vanilla. Actually, I use a dab more than a teaspoon, but a teaspoon's what the recipe calls for. Kentucky Derby pie. Supposedly, it's a Tradition in Kentucky, in a derby, if you're not familiar, is a horse race. I've never been. Oh, golden creaminess, the filling. This is really so simple. Kids could help with this. Um, we're probably going to, as a side note, a production note, I'll let you know, kids, um, our littles are probably going to be in fewer and fewer of our videos here because of YouTube and COPPA and everything that's going on with the child protection um, steps and that kind of thing. So it's just easier for us here at Heritage Ways because there's some confusion. I don't want to get into a lot of that, but there is some confusion for us creators at this point. So it's going to be, unfortunately, and it breaks my heart, but it's probably going to be best if we don't include our littles in many or most of our videos here on Heritage Ways YouTube. But you can go to our Patreon page. I'm going to go ahead and add these nuts and chips. You can go to our Patreon page. You can follow for free. It is a subscription service um, to get more content from creators of all sorts. But there's also an option for creators to put content out there for folks to just follow. Um, and uh, you guys can go there to, um, to get that, to get more content from us. And that's where I'm going to start putting a lot of the content that involves so the just, little. So just a production note there and a change that we weren't expecting. But that's how we're dealing with that. And that's the choice we've made at this point. Okay, I've got my unbaked pie shell. Now, I'm not perfect, and today's not perfect, and life's not perfect. And this is purchased, and I noticed when I took it out that some of the shell broke off, and apparently, I don't know, must have thrown it away or something. So, we're going to go with it. It's okay. Unbaked pie shell. If you make your own, it's even better. All right, and we're just going to put this in here in our pie shell, and we're going to bake it at 350 for one hour, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. I will test it, um, check it before the end to see if it's done. You know, if you insert a cake tester or toothpick or knife and then the pie or cake comes out clean, or the, the, the knife, the, the tester comes out clean, then your item is ready to remove. This is going to be wonderful. It's a firm pie. And let me tell you this. It freezes wonderfully. Wonderfully, guys. Absolutely wonderfully. 
put it in a freezer bag, a gallon or a gallon and a half, two gallon freezer bag once it's cooled. Put it in the freezer, double wrap it if you want to. Pull it out for the holidays, just let it thaw. And I'm telling you, this is your go-to freezer pie. All right, I'm gonna turn on my oven and I'm gonna come back to you when it's done and we're gonna uh, taste it. Okay, this is what my pie looks like. Remember I told you the crust broke before I even put it in there. So we'll turn it around this way. Uh, it's a little browner than I wanted because I'm still, I struggle with cooking in the RV um, ovens. And this was in a convection oven, so that might make a difference. Took a few minutes less than an hour, but 350 at an hour. I've let it cool completely because I think it's, um, it, this pie does better if you let it cool completely. And remember what I said about you can freeze it. This is a very dense pie. So we're going to cut it and taste it. Let me cut a piece. I'm aware you probably can't see me cutting it right now. But I'm going to show you what a piece looks like. It's very easy to cut as far as, you know, it's not going to run like chocolate cream pie. Mr. Patient's over here to help me test it. You don't mind, do you? Oh, no. That's what I do best. Okay. Well, taste <laughs> test. You cook it and I'll eat it. I was telling them that this was <laughs> very... Um, highly requested when I catered. I, I is made this, this all the time. Derby? Yes. Oh. It is Kentucky Derby. I want to show you. Remember what I said about the flour? Mixing the flour with the nuts and chocolate chips to keep them evenly distributed. So there's there's the pie. And I've got some home whipped or homemade, I guess I should say, whipped cream. Because it's better than, you know, frozen stuff. All right. Here's what we have. Look at that. Does that look edible? Yeah. Wait, wait. Kentucky on. Derby Pie. All right. Hold it up where they can see it. And let's, ta let's just taste this piece together. I like the whipped cream. And I love pecans. They're my favorite nut. But, you know, I guess you could use something else. But it wouldn't be traditional, I guess. Mm. It's good. Here, you take this and I'll get up for It's quarter. very good. I will <laughs> show you. See, it didn't run. So it's a good <clears throat> presentable pie. If you had to have a pie for the fire department dinner or a church, you know, where where they cut the pieces and go ahead and put them out on the plate. If you had to have a pie that looked presentable, this is a good dense pie. It's not too rich either. I like it. That's great. So that's what it looks you like. Keep talking off okay, you. I'm through talking. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, and I hope you'll try this pie. We thank you for joining us here at Heritage Ways, where we, I've still got, I need some water. Where we honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. And we hope we have done that with you today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Before we part today, I'd like to read you a scripture of hope from John 14, verse 27, out of God's Holy Word, New Testament. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. And thank you so much for walking life with us here at Heritage Ways. We love and appreciate you all.